Come out to the box. Come out to the box. Yeah. Hello YouTube, cheers, and welcome to the basement. My name is Bruce Lively, and I'm D-Boy Slim, and the basement is the first daily hip-hop debate show. From Tuesday through Friday, we tackle the most intriguing topics in hip-hop culture and the world around it. You know what it is. Today, we talk about Mr. Wingstop himself, mm -hmm. that boy Rick Ross, mm -hmm. he came out brand new joint, brand new album, including a brand new diss song, shooting all kinds of shots at Baby, Cash Money, I can't believe it. We waited a little bit, we wanted to give a little time for uh, Baby to respond, but it's going in too hard, everybody knows about it, you know about it, so we had to get it in. Is this a classic diss song? Or is Rick Ross just calling out bosses as usual? That's the question. And with that being said, let go. We back, people. We back. Mm. Let's get straight into it. Is Ross new album? Excuse me. Is Ross new this song? That baby classic this song? Or is it just Ross calling out bosses' names as usual? It's the Wingstop himself. I'm on the side of classic this song. It may be hard to believe. And I know a lot of people want to sit up there and scream about, oh, he's not real. Oh, he was a CO. We've heard it. You've heard it. Pretty sure that he's heard it. For a while, man. One thing that I've always been, been impressed by since that has come out is the fact that he just continues on making good music. He just continues on making good music. In this particular diss song, he goes at Birdman. What I find intriguing about the, the diss song is not only how intricate he was in the wordplay, but calling out all the hot boys, Manny Fresh, and as well as DJ Khaled, and kind of really rapping and touching on stuff that we hadn't really heard them rap about. Or, or discuss, and for that reason, I find I do find the class because it, it kind of shifted the climate a little bit. Like everybody, it's, it's, it's one of those one of those hits where everybody's talking about it. You got it. You had to hear it. The radio's spinning it, and there's truth in it. Everybody knows there's truth in it, and not only is there truth in it, we're talking about Lil Wayne, who a lot of people regard as one of the best rappers maybe of all time, and so. Like I said, and he's he's gave his cosign to it and saying, yo, big bro, you woke me up. Um, you know, you motivated me with that one. It brings truth and validity, like I said, into what he's talking about. The song itself, you know, is it a classic diss song. We sat here and we was in an uproar about the, the, the Nicki and Remy joint. There was a lot of disrespectful and name calling things on there. But like I said, what intrigues me about the, the Ross one is the wordplay that he said you used to you used to motivate our drive but be in our pockets before the count of five <laughs> maybe about his money though the world plays like he's nice with him I'm not, I'm not gonna front I'm not gonna hold y'all he's nice with him you get busy so whatever you know whatever y'all measure that at well you know whatever y'all place that at it is what it is but as far as classic this songs I'm not expecting a, a response from Baby, because Baby will tell you I was a game spitter for, he, he told us that 15 years ago, like I'm not even with the rapper, like so nobody's expecting a back and forth, movie, whatever, but for me, like I said, just because of the impact, people say class, the back to back was a classic, so this one, that's what I'm saying, like, and he just was going in on, you know, Meek and his, the girl situation and whatever have you, but 
this is serious. I mean, this you know what I'm saying? Like, this is serious talk right here. This is this is serious talk. What are you talking about? So, and like I said, the word, the word, the intricacy in the wordplay. I mess with it all day. I mess with it all day. I think I'm Big Meech, Larry Hoover, Booby Boys, and Noriega. <laughs> This is what he does, y'all. I, 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 what, what you want me to say? What you want me to say? It was a nice song. I liked it. I really did. I just, I, I know his mo, people. I know his mo. Mr. Wingstop himself. He knows how to make money. Okay. He brings the biggest names out. He has the hottest beats. Maybach music, you can't, cannot. Let's not forget Maybach music. I'm gonna put the wings up for a minute. Honestly, I like the song, but this is his mo. You get, you get the biggest name. He's calling out Diddy, all these other bosses on the West Coast. Name drop, name drop, name drop, name drop, and he failed to put the respect on, on Baby's name <laughs> that he that he requires. The, <laughs> You failed to put the respect on Baby's name that he required. I understand. The beef between Lil Wayne and Baby, this is something we've been dealing with for years now. But honestly, it's the only one, it's the only one that Rick Ross was there for. All the other stuff is hearsay. Everything else he's saying is hearsay. I don't think it's hearsay when he says that when Turk came home, told you get that boy a three-piece. I don't think it's hearsay. You say, I, I knew you wouldn't go visit BG. That's not hearsay. You see, that's where y'all get it mixed up at. You thinking that he's mixing facts and he was around, he's saying that he was around in the cash money days. He said, did you go visit him since he's been incarcerated? He said, did you go visit him since he's been incarcerated? How does, how does he know? That's the, did you go visit him when he, that's the question we ask. So we, so we need the response. We all know. We need the response. That's something that would have been te that's something that would have been documented and televised if Birdman went to go visit that. We know that. Everybody, that's 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 a, that's a rhetorical that's question. That's a rhetorical question right there. Man. No answer necessary. Right, no answer necessary. That dude ain't saw nobody in jail. We go visit the man. <laughs> we know that. Listen, man. Listen. I hear you. I hear you. This is just Rick, Rick's Rick's mo. I listened to the rest of the album. And it's just all right. The beats is fire as usual. He has a couple, couple good joints in there. He has that, you know. We, we talk about it all the time the song where he he mentions Chicago in a, mm -hmm. in a valuable way. Mm -hmm. I enjoy that. I enjoy that. And you know what? I, I think what it is why we give this song, why this song is getting so much light is for the first time we hear Rick Ross actually talking about mm -hmm. something that's important to him that he knows and not a made up character. Let's be honest. The character of Rick Ross, but the name that he stole, but the name that he stole has been what's been driving his music for the past what? How long? Ten years? For the first time, we see him talk about something real uh, in a meaningful way. I think he he's name dropping still. Have at least ten different names in that joint. Is it a classic? This song. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. But he's name dropping to get it to get on. That's what he does. He makes money. That's his mo. You know it. At this point, why would he need to drop Manny Fresh Turk and 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 BG's name to get on to get further than where he's already at? That makes no sense to me. That well, makes no it's sense. It's not to get on. You know that he it's has a personal relationship with Wayne. You just attested to he's been around in that situation with Wayne, so it would make sense for well, him. But the reason why I say that is because when I was listening to, to the track, I listened to it three times, and the person he talks about the least is Lil Wayne. So that's what I'm saying. Like The issue itself is close to him, and so he has that uh, authenticity when he's rhyming about it. We know he's tricked us before. I think, like but, I said, the intricacy in the wordplay, you might you the, might need to listen to it again. The intricacy in the wordplay, the first verse, he mentions what's going on in the situation. And the last verse, he mentions 
what's going on with me. All in between there, he sprinkled the whole situation and everything that burned. This is why I, I feel like the record was so well constructed and well, 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 well orchestrated. Like. And then, like I said, the wordplay with that, with the content that he's saying and the intricacy in the wordplay combined. I don't know which I, you know, how y'all rank classic. I, I you know, I know everybody, you know, when we talk this songs, I know everybody talking about no Vaseline. You talking about hit him up. You talking about like I, I, I know what's, what's what's ranked up there as far as this song. But what I'm saying, like, do you know what was the cat? Did, did that did, did did it resonate with y'all? I guess with, 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 is what I'm saying. Like, did the Cash Money situation resonate? Wasn't y'all Cash Money fan? Wasn't y'all Little Wayne fans? Mm -hmm. Like. It had to resonate with a, with a, with a lot of people. That's true. And, 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 and like I said, you gotta pull out and tell me what wasn't factual. What he said. Did did he actually go visit BG? Did he did he give did he give Turk the three mil that Turk ended up suing him for and taking him to court? These is facts. Yeah. These is facts. Khaled, I didn't even know about the Khaled situation. So there, right then, he enlightened me to something. Like, I didn't even know about that. I had forgot that Khaled dealt with young money and cash money at a certain point in time. Like, I'd like to hear what Khaled has to say, too. I want to hear the responses, man. I'm going to be honest with you. This was a good diss song, man. A classic, not sure. This was a good diss song. I think, as far as him dropping names, the man is the CEO of his own label. And he has ties and relationships that he's often proud of. And I'm not, like, right. I'm not, I can't discredit it from that. Like all I right. said, we all could talk about and jump on him about the fact that, yeah, he, you know, when the situation came out about him being a corrections officer, he danced around it in interviews. And when Pete, when asked about it and approached about it, he was, he was very indirect. He was very indirect. But like I said, since then, you... I, you point out to me wh where the whack music is. You, like, you point out to me okay, where some yeah. whack uh, Rick Ross joints are. Well, like, what you want me to say, man? You got it. You got it. You're, you're making sense. You're making sense. Listen, I'm going to play devil's advocate for you, right? I could understand the argument of someone saying, yo, who is this dude to be yelling out BG's name? Who is this dude? And I know a lot of people from New Orleans who, who all of that, it holds dead to their heart. It, 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 it's it's going to be some dudes that may say that. But who is he to be yelling out Turk's name? And it'll be, and like I said, that's what's intriguing to me. It'll be remain, it, it remains to be seen what, what, their, what their response to the song is. Yeah, I want to hear but, what they um, got to say for real. How much of this is, is conjecture? I how could, much of this is actual things that he knows, or how much of this is things that he was told like from I said, Wayne? This, this is the difference with me. I, would like saying, to know. I don't think he's saying they name for 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 the explosion of him. Yeah. I think that yeah. resurrects them and whatever career they have left. Like I think that resurrects their name. So that that exposed that gives them exposure. So but my thing is to that, I and I can understand that argument when somebody say like we like Come on, dude, you putting out people business, that ain't even your business. But then we always, there's always that thing of people say, yo, what was significant to hip hop? And this album, for for whatever reason, this guy, he kind of, he gave you him. His perspective, his views. Like, he gave you him and, and from, from an honest space. And, for the first time, yes. And like I said, it, it to me, was impactful. That's what, you know what I'm saying? That's what will be discussed. Is Vic Ross the best out of Miami? Was it impactful in hip hop? That's no question. <laughs> At all. I mean, and all y'all that's on my Facebook, and when, you know, we've been having these discussions, like, y'all know the truth. Somebody, somebody, t somebody from the 305 tell me different. Please. They're not gonna like that. But, you know, in this debate, you making sense, and 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 you might just you might just got it. But really, like I said, it's up to y'all. It's up to y'all. We don't have too much more to say about that. Got any shout outs today? We do. Stop by the wing stop. Oh man, you gotta eat that wing stop, baby. That's what they don't know. Anyway, <laughs> as I was saying, we got we got we got shout outs, man. We got quite a few. I'm gonna go through just a few that that I can get to right quick. Uh, young Duke, appreciate you, Young Duke. He said it, it's stupid. He's just making a shooter want to finish the job. Of course, this is Gotti uh, versus versus Dolph. 
Cornelius Divine says, uh, dude with the New York coat on is a hater like Ho Gotti. Must be a Dolphin. Yeah, it's another Dolphin. All Dolphins be getting extra personal, man. <laughs> Ooh, this is what I had to get out. I told him we was going to give him the biggest shout out in the world simply because I'm so excited. I'm so happy to have a service member who's serving in Korea right now. Love this show. Watch this show. His name is Dijon Martinez, and he likes what we're doing. And you know what? Knowing that you out there in the Transcends family, I'm also a vet. I understand it. Knowing that you're out there, you're out there in the field, and just so watching something like this, just to get your mind off of it, to get your mind off coming back home for just a moment, just to bring a smile to your face for just a moment, we realize how important a show like this is. And we, I promise you, I promise you that we will always take it that seriously. Thank you. Don't thank us. Thank you. Dijon Martinez. Appreciate it. Oh, man. All right. Clockwork said read and roll. You should know what that means. Videos 2G for TV says Big Dog with a bunch of thumbs up emojis. I don't know what that means, but it sounds good. Thank you. Shout out, Clockwork. Clockwork, shout out. So you do, you do it. Keep repping that read and roll. All right. Okay. Last one. Hope it didn't go too far. Too long here. M. Imperial C. Z. Three. All right. Imperial C. Z. Three. That's what's up. It was obviously a staged publicity stunt to promo his album. He ironically started back up the Gotti beef right before he happened to make it seem believable. Just to make it seem believable. And of course, Gotti Dolph. I don't know. It's a stretch to say that Dolph actually would stage himself being shot a hundred times, no matter how bulletproof the van is. Nobody's trying to test that. But, uh... <laughs> makes sense. Yeah, I, I, I don't care if you're Obama. You got the Obama van, he's not trying to get it shot at. He's just hoping that it works if he does get shot at. But hey, everybody's got their own opinion, and it is... I know. He, he's like I said. He's using it. He's using it for promo. He's making money off. It. Anyway, thank you, everybody. We went a little bit longer than I thought we would, but I appreciate the love. We appreciate your watching, and we want you to uh, enjoy the show. Debate it amongst yourselves. Leave the comments. And for you artists out there, write down there. Find out how to get an interview and buy all these beats that you're hearing. You know what it is. The basement. We out of here. Peace. Slide it a little bit. Six to eight now, like you went to go see B Jizzle? <laughs> Big J <laughs> You ain't go see Jizzle? Uh Big G? Big G? No, that's not right. You see. Uptown New Orleans.